for subhanahu wa ta'ala with you. Uh, our subject today is to talk about uh, uh, vapor compression. Um, it's a vapor compression refrigeration cycle attached to uh, cooling tower. Um, first of all, you have to sp specify your uh, folder. You have to go here in your working folder. I, co I copy my model here, so I am going to vapor compression refrigeration and photovoltaic cooling tower. yes this is one this is the one okay vapor compression cross flow uh, cooling tower okay you will find first of all you have to go here uh, sort by name and group by type okay in order, in order to organize your folder and everything just double clicking here and you will all you can drag and drop here in your matlab workspace and uh, matlab command window i'm sorry okay and your model should be appear in a few seconds okay and let's go while waiting okay uh, this is our main model um okay this is vapor compression cycle we already demonstrated this, uh, this before we have evaporator for uh, cooling load and how many ton refrigerant you are going to use? We have we have uh, a compressor and a condenser unit and expansion valve. Uh, this is a refrigerant R uh, uh, 134A uh, for you. So, um, what is new is that you are going to utilize a cooling tower uh, for uh, condenser unit cycle for uh, uh, as a heat rejection. This is a high temperature, and this is a low temperature. This is a, uh, the cooling tower. So it's better to use um, a wide range of different operating conditions uh, via a cross flow cooling tower. So I, I do recommend uh, to attach a cross flow cooling tower. Uh, um, we can attach different types of cooling towers if you would like, but just is, this is just an example uh, about it. Uh, this is our mid cycle as you can see here if you double click on uh, any unit suppose i double click over the condenser you will find this is your code representing your um, inputs this, these are your inputs and this is function name and these are your outputs i'm sorry this is inputs and these are your outputs okay so we attached um, the cooling tower uh, as you can see here we need we need just need outlet cooling uh, outlet uh, cooling water uh, from uh, the condenser okay and um, cooling uh, water uh, uh, mass flow rate from the condenser it, it should be calculated from the condenser right then uh, we are going to mix these two outputs from the condenser as and two inputs as a uh, two inputs to the uh, cooling uh, tower uh, cross flow cooling tower and you can double clicking here and assign some inputs suppose you there is a, a forced cooling tower or mechanical draft cooling tower so you can use a, a fan here there is a fan okay so uh, what is your ambient temperature or elite air temperature what is your uh, uh, tube for water water tube uh, diameter and just um, we need um, mechanical uh, i'm sorry uh, effectiveness of the mechanic of the mechanical cooling tower what is your effectiveness normally it's around uh, 0.4 or 0.5 something like this okay you can assign here hit apply and okay and this is the outlet uh, cooling tower this is um, outlet cooling tower mass flow rate flow going to the condenser it's input to the to the condenser this is a uh, um, uh, stream temperature our inlet temperature to the condenser coming from the uh, cooling tower uh, first of all you can uh, assign some uh, parameters such as what is your evaporator load temperature uh, condenser temperature normally it's between 26 to 250 no more than this A refrigerant load how many ton refrigerant you are going to use okay and suppose I am uh, let's begin from 10 Ton per hour, okay. Just ton per hour, 
and uh, uh, evaporator. This is thermal coil through the evaporator. What is your thermal conductivity of the, of the coil through the evaporator unit? And inner evaporator coil diameter and outer diameter. These three parts represent represent uh, the evaporator side. Okay. And performance. What is your uh, compressor efficiency, mechanical efficiency, and the condenser effectiveness? Okay. Because this is a design mode, so we are going to assign performance in order to get our uh, design results, uh, such as areas, mass flow rates, temperatures, and so on. Set your simulation time into zero, okay, and hit run, uh, okay, and we're going to discover the following. Okay, under such circumstances, we have to get our results. Um, as you can see here, uh, let's begin from the evaporator unit, okay, let's begin from the evaporator. This is mass flow rate, the cycle mass flow rate, refrigerant mass flow rate, okay, so the cycle. Okay, it's around 0.2 kilogram per second, 0.234 uh, kilogram per second. This is steam quality, 0.2444. Okay, steam quality uh, on the, uh, as you can see, it on the TS diagram, this is your steam quality and the thermal uh, uh, load on evaporator. Okay, it's around 35 kilowatts. Okay, this is one, uh, two, three. So this is value one, two, three, okay. Value number four is the area of the evaporator. What is your evaporator area? It's um, around uh, two square meters. And coil length, it's around uh, 39 meters. Okay. Uh, for um, for expansion valve, this is insulby uh, end to the evaporator. This is insulby end to the evaporator. It's around. 100 kilojoule uh, per kilogram okay and these are your uh, uh, these are your uh, uh, in of the gas at saturated uh, this is saturated vapor line and this is in of the liquid okay saturated vapor line versus temperature of course so if you double clicking here you'll find your this these are your uh, uh, these are your output data and this is your temperature of the evaporator. Um, actually, these properties representing as, uh, 174A for you. Okay, it's, it's not for water or something like that. And this, this is your coefficient of performance. Okay, and coefficient of performance based on um, uh, uh, evaporator uh, thermal power and power. Uh, a load on uh, compressor. So if you divide it, um, uh, the, the Q, uh, which is uh, evaporator uh, thermal power, over the working compressor or compressor power, it will give you the coefficient of performance. And we have here um, out superheat temperature outlet from the compressor. Uh, this is Insalbi, I'm sorry. This is Insalbi 292. Superheat temperatures around 65 and compressor power is around 9.7. Let's go for um, a condenser unit. We have for condenser outlet cooling water. This outlet cooling water, uh, outlet uh, temperature goes to the cooling tower in order to be cooled. This is 33 degrees Celsius. We, are, we have to decrease this based on the load on uh, cooling tower. And this is cooling tower uh, mass flow rate. This stream is going to the cooling tower. It's around 2.05 kilogram per second. The condenser power is around 44. And condenser area is around 5.9 uh, square meter. So if you, let's go in to, in, inside the uh, cooling tower and inspect what is our uh, outputs. Let's go here. I'm sorry, let's go emphasize a little bit, okay. So this is oil water from the cooling tower, it's 33, which is output from the condenser, okay, 33.6. Out, outlet from the condenser is input for uh, the cooling tower, air temperature input, and this is uh, um, air in Salby, air uh, 
uh, out it air insolvi and el it air insolvi okay so property table of the air okay you can emphasize this a little bit okay a specific insolvi of the air okay and this is uh, your uh, hot water coming from the condenser as as we uh, show before uh, it's a 2.05 kilogram per second it's around 7.4 ton per hour okay under under these circumstances or inputs these are our outputs um, this is tower diameter this is tower diameter and height of the tower of the cooling tower and this is our pressure fan power of the cooling tower this fan power and uh, total weight of the cooling tower okay small cooling tower and this is your output uh, uh, water temperature okay wet bulb temperature outlet air temperature after cooling uh, cooling tower approach cooling tower range heat losses heat gain by the air make up water condensed condensate uh, evaporative losses a uh, flow velocity through the pipe evaporative losses a uh, blow down total losses um, and air air mass flow rate um, kilogram per hour okay so uh, suppose i'm going dynamically so i have to uh, click on your in each stream you would like to send to data inspector and check this uh, small box or you can go here and select stream selected to data inspector be sure that this is small square box is shown here or you can select to all at once as you can see but don't forget to name your uh, your stream you have to name your stream first suppose i'm going here okay click here and click at once select stream to data inspector in order to discover uh, the output results and the same for uh, for uh, as you can see here for each stream and we can go dynamically i mean we can change this with time as a set your solution time into infinity as you can see here and saving and you can change let's go here and double clicking and return inside in order to realize the changes uh, that should be made after um, uh, changing our results let's go here and hit you hit run and see suppose i'm going to to, to uh, increase the load uh, okay let's increase the refrigerant load and see uh, increasing i'm increasing the refrigerant load uh, okay the mass flow rating will increase uh, the effective area uh, as you can see here i'm increasing up to for example uh, 40 ton per hour for example okay that's um, now this is evaporator evaporator temperature let's decreasing evaporator temperature okay and let's say uh, uh, decreasing uh, condensate temperature okay enough for this let's go for cooling tower suppose i'm going to control cooling tower i have to double click why the system is running it's running now with time this is your time and you can set your submission time let's increase uh, air temperature up to 22 degrees Celsius, for example and let's increase the effectiveness of the cooling top up to 0.5 for example okay and 0.5 0.5 okay okay it's just an example at a head stop okay you can uh, uh, demonstrate your results from workspace you will find your results is the final the final value of your results these are your final value and let's go inside here and click on data inspector here this is uh, your score you can click here and uh, we are going to show some results it's fantastic okay this is a mass flow rate okay increasing or decreasing steam quality fluctuating around 0 0.2 0 0.25 evaporative uh, this is a uh, evaporator uh, thermal power and this is your evaporator area uh, coil length uh, as you can see here outlet in solby compressor power let's go for compressor power this is your compressor power and uh, outlet cooling air temperature from the cooling tower uh, air uh, mass flow rate through, through the cooling tower 
and condenser power this is your condenser power as you can see here and we can add more uh, more fields by clicking here we can add more fields in order to show uh, more more results let's go for for example below down losses uh, makeup water flow flow velocity okay uh, make up water again let's go for wet bulb temperature this is your wet bulb temperature and coefficient of performance co uh, compressor uh, super heat temperature uh, okay and we need uh, what is your uh, uh, mass flow rate total losses below down and steam quality okay uh, and suppose i need outlet water temperature okay and uh, with uh, oh yes cooling let's go for cooling tower approach and cooling tower range okay approach and range heat losses by the by water and so on so you can use what you would like to use from here and you can remove uh, some fields if you would like you can concentrate or uh, some fields you can check you can make another run and compare results at the same figure you can make another run this is run number two and you can even send your figure you can uh, uh, show uh, at that highlight okay you can use highlights in order to represent your outputs and you can send to a figure you can click here and send uh, your outputs to a figure let's go for for example for four figures and I click here send to a figure and it will send be it will be sent to uh, a figure so you can uh, uh, control your figure change uh, your uh, align uh, change your uh, caption okay you can do what you would like to do okay change your color okay and you can uh, represent your outputs easily by uh, selecting data um, uh, inspector it's a simple model uh, concentrated you can change uh, your results in order to get your design outputs uh, simple model it's a verbal cooperation uh, uh, finally, I would like uh, to thank you very much for your attention and more. Don't forget to like, share, and uh, subscribe. Uh, thank you very much.